Oh, sorry. I'm going mad. I'm looking for a particular track to use on my new project. I want to make a funny video mixing this track. You know, a sort of parody. But I've looked in several libraries and archives and I can't find it. Hmm. I better call Danusha. Hello? Hi, Danusha. It's Alan. Hey, Alan. What's going on? Sorry to bother you. I'm looking for a recording, but I can't find it anywhere. Is it because libraries aren't allowed to make them available, or what? Well, actually, there is an archiving exception that permits librarians and archivists to copy certain works in order to preserve them, but it's very restrictive. For example, it doesn't cover audiovisual works and sound recordings. So to copy these kind of works, you need permission from the copyright owners. Ugh. And this process can be very long and expensive, right? Exactly. Seeking permission usually takes a lot of time and expense. It can be so costly that libraries and archives often have to choose between infringing copyright to preserve works or allowing them to deteriorate. Oh, that's really sad. I know, but perhaps something is going to change. The government wants to amend the current exception so that it applies to audiovisual works and sound recordings. As, as well as literary, dramatic and musical works, like plays and compositions. However, I don't think that libraries and archives will be allowed to make their collections available online. So, I'm sorry Alan, but I don't think you'll be able to find your sound recording anywhere. Well, maybe you'll find some orphan work. Oh, yes, orphan work, of course. Wait a minute, what's that? Orphan works are those works that are in copyright but whose copyright owner is unknown or cannot be traced. This uncertainty prevents an orphan work from being used creatively or commercially or digitized as it is difficult to locate the rights holder and get their permission. In fact, it's almost impossible to do that without breaking the law. But is it a big deal? Are there so many orphan works? Lots. Did you know that 31% of books and up to 95% of newspaper content held in the British Library are estimated to be orphan, 90% of still photographs in UK museums and 20-30% to of material in archives too. And orphan works are not the only ones to be locked by copyright law. What do you mean? You know, copyright lasts so long that a huge amount of works which are not commercially available anymore, including orphan works, are still in copyright. The paradoxical thing is that nobody can benefit from these works Neither the public nor the copyright owners, but they are still locked. That is why the phenomenon is known as the 20th century black hole. These works are out there, but we can't use them. But if it's so obvious that the law needs to be changed, why is it not changed yet? Well, actually, not everyone agrees with allowing the use of orphan works. Some photographers, for example, think that it's too easy for a photo to become an orphan. So they consider it more important to prevent the creation of new orphan works than to allow for the licensing of such works. Oh, I understand. It's not so obvious then. Well, maybe I can find a track somewhere else. Thanks very much, Danusha. I hope to see you soon. I hope so too. Goodbye, Alan. <laughs> 